Well, Bonnie, it's December Ween, the last month of the regular non Woodian calendar, of course. And with December Ween comes a number of special holidays Hanukkah, uh-huh. Boxing Day, yes. mixed, mixed Martial Arts Day, uh-huh. of course, Xmas. Xmas. I, I would call it Christmas, but saying that out loud gives a fundamentalist Christian a hard on, so. I will be avoiding saying that. <laughs> saying the C must word. Not for the entire episode, but for as long as I can. Yeah. Last year, last year for Xmas, I wanted one thing more than anything else. One thing more than anything else in the world. I wanted it. I desired it. Nay, I went insane for it. Lucha Underground merchandise. Ah, okay. It was the one thing. I mentioned it over and over and over again throughout the year. (laughs) I told everyone about it. I sent people links to websites. Even like halfway through the year, they started selling them uh, on Walmart.com for super cheap. And I'm like, hey. Hey, hey, you know how I've been bugging you all year for Lucha Underground merchandise. Now they're selling it at Walmart for super cheap. And they're like, yeah, no problem. We'll totally get it for you. This is a promise. You can 100% uh, you totally count on my promises. We'll definitely get you Lucha Underground merchandise. And they did not. <laughs> and I bugged them and bugged them and bugged them. All of them. No, not at all. <laughs> just didn't did they miss the hints what happened here it, natasha it, it it's it, it's it's not it's not fair because i pay attention to things that that natasha says that she wants and and i i get things all year i when it comes to xmas i have become a I have become an old woman and I will see, I will get things for Christmas in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and then save them. Yeah. That's why the kids know you can't get into my trunk and you really can't even play in the entire back of the car. (laughs) You can't even look over the side of the front seat. You just can't. I have a lot and I've had it for months. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, every Christmas, every it's the exact same thing. Natasha just doesn't know what I want, doesn't know what to get me. And and also, like, the kids don't care about me. But that's okay, because I'm the dad. You're not supposed to care. Yeah. About the dad. So my my wife and, and, and the rest of my family are just horrible at, at getting things for me. Probably because getting things for me require a minimal amount of effort. And my, my family is just not big on effort. Yeah. So they uh, never know. A what low, to... low effort group. Yeah. They never know what to get me, despite the fact that literally all year. I it, it, and I know that that they're they're bad at getting things for me. So every year I'll be like walking through the store and I'll be like, "Wow, look at this box set!" And she and my wife's like, "Yeah, that's amazing." And I'm like, "No, take a real good look at this box set. Isn't that amazing?" And wow, only twenty seven ninety five in a tr- <laughs> store. Wow. And how soon is it to Father's Day? Wow, a month away. Isn't that interesting? Or if not Father's Day, there's always Christmas, and it just, it never works. It never works. It never works. So, so even last year, even last year, even last year, I realized that a lot of times when my wife says, "I'm not sure what to get you," it, what she's really saying is, "I'm not sure what to get you here in Shawnee." So uh, what I did is I spent like like a day going to stores. And finding things that I want, like it, last year I did this, and it was two months before uh, Christmas, and I I went around to all of these stores, and I took a picture of the store, and then I took pictures of the things inside of the store that I want. <laughs> I took 
pictures of the prices of those things and I put them all in a file and put them on her on her uh, dashboard of her computer and it said gift ideas and still none of it worked <laughs> so 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 it just really bad so 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 this is my christmas reality but that's okay i'm not super bitter or anything no i've come to the realization that as an adult part of being an adult means that you very rarely actually get what you want so i've given up on lucha underground merchandise even though it's available super cheap well you Uh, know what you need huh you know what you need you need you need someone to come and save Christmas. That's what I need. Someone like, oh, I don't know, Danny Bonaducci. No, no, not like, Danny Bonaducci. No. Michael J. Fox. Scott Bayo. Scott Bayo. Yeah. No. I need someone. We, we'll to come save. up with somebody. We'll come up with yeah, somebody we'll, by the end of the show. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So, so this year. I'm I'm no longer spending all year, literally all year, just pointlessly shoving Lucha Underground through everybody, down everyone's throats. It hasn't worked in the last two years. It's not going to work this year. This year, I'm trying out different routes. First off, I spent over three and a half hours last week working on an Amazon.com wish list. Okay. I hate Amazon.com. Their prices are destroying uh, all brick and mortar businesses, bookstores, electronic stores. I've heard employees from Guitar Central have the exact same conversation that I've heard Barnes and Noble employees have. Really? Yeah. L- literally, just fuck Amazon.com. I don't use it, but my wife does. And this might be the best shot I actually have at getting what I want. And I am not throwing away my shot. <laughs> I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. <laughs> so that's that's number one. The second thing I'm doing differently this year is that I found something that I want this Christmas. Okay. And it is it is so strange, so odd, so out there, bad shit, bizarre, that I think I just might get it. Okay. It's so weird. Like Lucha Underground stuff, that makes sense. I like Lucha Underground. I'm asking for Lucha Underground stuff, but that didn't work. But if I ask for something so weird, maybe just the novelty of the fact that I'm asking for something so weird will mean that I have a better chance. Yeah. Knowing my family, I'll be like, hey, I want the following DVDs. Oh, I'm not going to get that for you. But if I told Emerald and Natasha, hey, can I get these two liters of bull semen? Mm-hmm. Something tells me <laughs> I have a better chance of getting the bull semen from them than the DVDs that I want. And, but I, it's not, I don't want bull semen. Right. This Christmas. I won't say no to it, but I don't want it. So are you ready? Are you ready to hear what I'm what I'm asking for this Christmas? I'm ready. Okay. So Tommy Wiso. Okay. <laughs> Now sells Tommy Wiso brand underwear. Oh, no. On his website, TommyWiso.com. Imagine a colorful Tommy Hilfiger underwear, except on the band, instead of Tommy Hilfiger, it says Tommy Wiso. <laughs> I need this underwear. Those could qualify as magic underwear. I uh, need Tommy Weasel underwear. I, I think you need Tommy Weasel's underwear. That being said, I am really worried about Tommy Weasel right now. Yeah. He should not, like, like, there's a movie based on his life, and they're talking Oscars. I saw him on Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, I, 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 you know, he's doing all of these interviews in all these major magazines. There's a good possibility he might show up this weekend during Saturday Night Live. This this is all going to his head. He's on the red carpet. Yeah. He's being interviewed for Entertainment Weekly. None of this is good for this man. <laughs> no. That being said, I, I need Tommy Wiseau underwear. It It is kind of funny that 
like you always got this the sense that David Hasselhoff knows he's the butt of the joke. Mm-hmm. I don't think Tommy Rizzo has any awareness of that at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. So my wife refused to get me this underwear, but then I, but then, but, but I kept bugging her and bugging her over the last like three weeks. And she's like, no, I'm not going to get you Tommy Wiseau underwear, but I need Tommy Wiseau underwear. I'm not going to get you Tommy Wiseau underwear, but honey, I have to have this or else I will explode. And she said, well, it's going to start cleaning up the mess, but I, I can't buy Tommy Wiseau underwear. How much is it anyway? And I told her that a three pack was fifteen ninety nine, And she said, well, okay, that's not that bad. And I said, see? <laughs> So I have a good chance this year of actually getting what I want. That being Tommy Wiseau brand underwear. But dude, <laughs> Xmas sucks. I hate Xmas. Yeah. I just hate it. I just absolutely hate it. But Tommy Wiseau underwear might help. Also, my family Tommy sucks. Wiseau, again. Tommy Wiseau underwear would help. It would. It would help. It would help with the Xmas season. 